Okay, hello guys. This is a little tutorial on how to get maps on your iPhone without having uh, Edge or Wi-Fi on. So you can just preload any maps you wish and be able to view it wherever you are. So first thing we're going to do is going to open up pro this program. And once you get this folder, it's actually going to be in bin, debug, and it's right here at the bottom. It's called Global Map Download Tool. So you click on it. I actually already have it open. And this is how it opens up. It has Google Maps as default. There's a bunch of options on the side. You won't really, really needing them. Uh, and here you just type in whatever map you want to see. Now, if you're going to save a map and want the directions on there, because you won't be able to actually search for directions while it's offline, uh, make sure you type in the directions and the directions show up on the map, and that's how you save it if you wrote the directions on there. So what we're going to do is just type in something. Uh, I just I did this yesterday. I wanted to see how much I could put into my iPhone, so I did the city of Los Angeles. And let's go search maps. And as you can see, here is the city of Los Angeles. Now, usually, if you want a really smaller map, you just start zooming in to specific specific area you want. But I wanted to see how much I could actually fit into my iPhone. And so next thing you want to do after you found whatever you want, and like I said, if you want directions, make sure you do the search with the directions already on there. So next thing you can do is click download the map and just choose the folder you want. Okay. And it's going to load up these tiles of the map and just uncheck whichever ones you want just to make the file a little smaller. Obviously, you're not going to want maps of the ocean. Although, I, I rearranged the map so all of it is in there, so you won't have to uncheck anything unless you want to. Let's say you want to uncheck the desert area. You don't really need maps for that. And so, the next step you want to do is probably remove the 1x file. Uh, unfortunately, the iPhone is not able to pick it up, so just remove it. And it's going to shrink your file size anyway, so it's okay. So next thing you want to do is click here. And as you can see, it's going to start downloading all these little tiles. Right now it says 40 out of 21,000. Uh, so obviously, if uh, this is going to actually take about two to three hours, I mean, it all depends on your internet speed and uh, processing. But uh, if you want a small map, it's not going to take much. This is just the entire city. And it's going to be able to zoom in all the way. And so that's why it's going to be so big. I'm just going to stop it because I don't have the time for that. I already actually did the map. So I cancel it. The next step you want to do is click, once it's done, click on the iPhone button. Find the map you just downloaded and make a new folder where you want the, uh, the cache to be saved. So once you have that done, click here to proceed. And it's going to um, format it for the iPhone. And once it's, that's done, now it says nothing's there. You're going to open up where you saved it. And you're going to see two files. One says maptiles.sqlightdb and the .com Apple one. Once that's done, you want to FTP into your iPhone. I already, I already am, so I just want to show you. Just, you can use QFTP with your iPhone. And uh, you want to put it into bar, root, media, create a folder called maps. Make sure you cap the map, uh, capitalize the M. And just drag the folders in. And right now I have two maps in here. One's called Baghdad and one's called LA Maps. So once that's done, let's go to my iPhone. Okay, now that we're on the iPhone, I'm just going to show you that I'm actually not in LA, just to prove to you. But to uh, locate me. And so, as you can see, I'm actually in San Francisco. Okay, so let's get out of here. Next thing you want to do, uh, let me show you just to prove to you that I turn off my Wi-Fi and make sure that. Uh, off. So Wi-Fi is off, just to prove that the map will load while you're offline. 
let's go to a program called ILM. You can download both these uh, programs on my uh, web page. I'll have it in the description. And as you see, here are these two maps. So let's click on LA Maps, Action Links, Go to Maps. And here you are. You now have the LA Maps on your on your iPhone and just to show you there's no Wi Fi. No Wi Fi. No edge either. I don't actually have the edge network. So um first thing I did, I learned is that it's best to zoom all the way out. Because I tried zooming in right away and it wasn't working. I thought it just wasn't working at all. Just to make sure it loads all of it up. So let's try zooming back in. Hold on one second. I managed to. Oh, I went to satellite. No wonder. So the whole map zoomed out. You get the whole thing. So let's try zooming in now. Where do you want to go? Let's go to. Let's go to Long Beach. And it may take a little bit to load since it's a huge map. It may take a little bit to load before it changes into the uh, smaller tiles. And you see it's not doing it right now. It'll get, there it is. And here we are. This is the city streets of Long Beach. River right there. Let's zoom in. Let's show you what freeway that is. That's the 22 right there in the in the Long Beach. Here's the 405. Damn blurriness of the iPhone. Can't pick it up. And so as you can see now, I have the entire map of LA set up on my iPhone offline to view whenever I like. And uh, let me just go out there and show you how to clear it. So let's click clear. Cancel. Well, I open up the Baghdad one. Let me just show you the Baghdad one. Just show you that you can have multiple maps at a time. Yeah, I wasn't too happy with that. So let's let's clear the LA ones. Clear. Okay. Try it again just to make sure it really clears up. And let's try back that again. Here we go. And now I have back that maps. My iPhone. Once again, offline, no edge. And this one was only like 70 megabytes, just to show you that not all the files are huge. I just, when you do an entire city, you're definitely going to get a huge. Um, huge file. And so now that you have the tutorial, you can go to my website. It's called download my iPhone, all one word, dot blogspot dot com to download the ILM, uh the uh, global map download tool and also a written tutorial on how to do this.